What is going on guys? Welcome back to a new No Man's Sky video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my tips and tricks that I've learned over the past few days on how to earn tons of units in No Man's Sky. So in as little as 15 to 20 hours, you can easily become a millionaire in this game. And I know a lot of you guys out there can probably do it a lot faster than me. And most of the time, I was just going around exploring and I was still able to earn tons and tons of money. So the first tip that I can give you guys is to find rare things on planets. Now the colder and more extreme weather conditions that you find, the more rare materials you will find such as gold, emerald, and even gravitino balls. Such things like that can be then sold on the market for tons of money. So besides just collecting really rare resources, which is an obvious way to make a lot of money on this game, there's actually a lot of other tricks that you guys might not know about and ways to just earn tons of money without really doing anything at all. So the first portion of this guide is going to be on resources and selling. So if you have tons and tons of resources, it's actually best not to sell them right away. Every galaxy you go in will have different commodities for sale, and the farther away you get from certain commodities, the more they will be worth. So you see these gold stars on items, that means that the, you are in a part of the universe that zinc and herodium are actually really abundant in, so you can get them for a lot cheaper just because of that reason alone. If you see that star on something, that usually means it's a lot cheaper or a lot more expensive just because of the location you are in. So it's very important to keep track of the things that you're selling in the store before you actually sell them. You want to make sure that you're selling them for a good price. The higher the galactic average, the more you will get every time that you sell an item. So here's all that emerald that I just got on that planet not too far away. And I was able to sell that for over 100,000 coins. Now I got that emerald in literally 5 minutes and that was the easiest way I'd ever made any money in this game. All I had to do was warp to the nearest star system and I was able to actually sell that for a lot more just because of the fact that I was further away from emerald resources. So that can be done with just about any resource, now, especially gold. If you ever see gold or just certain really rare metals like that, you definitely want to hoard those and not necessarily sell them right away. You want to wait until you get to a store terminal that actually will be willing to pay more for them just because of where you are. Now although it's hard to tell you exactly where to look for specific resources, I can tell you that caves, underwater, and extreme temperatures are some of the best places to find rare resources. So anytime that you see a cave, or any time that you're on a planet with really hot temperatures or really cold temperatures or really just any extreme weather at all, you will most likely find some of the most rare commodities on those planets and it's best to go looking around and searching for some of the best resources possible before leaving that planet. If you're ever stuck on a planet and don't know where to start exploring or just look around for rare resources, just fly around a little bit and land near a cave or some water and then scan the area around you. That will tell you just about everything within a mile radius of you and that way you can get a general idea of what type of resources are around you and that way if nothing good is around you, you can always just go ahead and fly off to another location. Now another tip that I can give you guys is based off of the planets that you visit. So anytime that you warp into a new galaxy, what you want to do is click the L3 button. That will put out a galactic wide scan and that way you can find an abandoned building or some sort of interesting point on a planet to go to. Now the only planet that you really want to be visiting if you're trying to make a lot of money really quickly are the water planets. Now they are quite rare and you may need to jump a few times before you stumble across a water planet. Now once you finally do find a water planet, however, you do want to make sure that you're landing somewhere close to the water. You want to make sure that you're able to go into the water as soon as possible once landing. So just find a pretty nice place to land, somewhere that might look like an observatory or something, and just get out of your ship immediately and make your way towards the water. Now once you get to the water, you want to pull out your scanner. This is where everything else comes into play. This is one of the easiest ways to make money in this game, is just by pulling out your scanner. So just about every individual object and plant in this game is an individual species that can be scanned. You want to make sure that you're analyzing as many plants and species as possible, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second, but the water planets are the best places to do this at. So what you want to do is start out just outside of the water. You want to scan all of the plants and rocks and everything that looks like it might be a species in the surrounding area that you land. Now once you've collected about four or five resources or so, or discovered about four or five species, then is when you want to make your way towards the water. Now, I, the only reason you want to do this in the water is because you will find the most species in the water in the closest proximity to each other. As you can see, there's like 500 plants down here underneath the water, and almost every single one of them is its own individual species that can be analyzed and scanned. Now, each and every time that you analyze and scan a new object or species, you will get units just for doing so. So what you want to do is scan and analyze as many places that you possibly can all at once, and then what you want to do from there is quite simple. All you need to do is pull up your options menu and start just actually uploading your discoveries. So each and every time that you scan any object, each and every time that you warp into another galaxy or you discover a new planet, you do want to make sure that you're actually claiming the analyzation. You want to make sure you go into your options menu and actually click through every single object that you've scanned and actually get make sure you get your rewards for doing that. 
Now, if you get lucky enough to stumble across a species that's not going to attack you, you want to make sure that you go up to it and feed it. Every time that you feed a new species, it would actually go out and dig around and find something for you. So the higher level and the more dangerous things you find, the better materials they will find for you. But as you can see, I fed this guy like 20 carbon because he was a carbon-based life form and he wanted some extra food. So what you want to do is just give them the food that they ask for and then wait about 30 seconds or so. Wait until the magnifying glass comes above their head and they will actually make sure that you they reward you as well with some sort of resource. Now, like I said, the, the crazier the species, the more crazy the resources they will find you. But finally, once you have analyzed and collected as much as you want to on the planet you are on, you do need to pull up your options menu and go into every individual node and make sure you're holding down the square button. You will be rewarded with more units for every single item that you scan and every waypoint that you visit. So you need to make sure that you go through every single one of these and hold down square. Each time that you upload one, you will be granted units, and this is the easiest way to make money in this game, hands down, besides hoarding out your resources to sell them later on. This is definitely the easiest way to make money, is just by simply analyzing all the things that you can before you leave the planet. So you can do this with every single planet you visit, like I said before, every single galaxy you go into, and if you feel like staying in one planet for long enough, you can actually collect every single resource or analyze every single species in one planet. And if you do that, you will actually get between 200,000 and 500,000 units just for doing so. So if you're one of those people that really likes to just stick to one planet and discover as much as you can on that one planet before leaving, if you actually discover everything, you can then upload it for about 200,000 to 500,000 units depending on the planet you are on. All you need to do is just make sure that you find everything. So hopefully these tips and tricks did help you out to earn tons of units in this game and even maybe helped you buy your first ship. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for future No Man's Sky guides, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.